Hey gang, JB Coins here with the wrap from uh, last week's live stream. Uh, the nickel box that we uh, went through where we found a war nickel and gave away a couple of war nickels and some V nickels, uh, some silver. Um, but these were the finds that we had after uh, when we went through the box itself. Uh, 62D, got an RPM on that one. A 2013. It's got a huge die chip right there in the S. Um, of course, it doesn't show up with this magnification, but right where that arrow is, there's a huge die chip. Um, 2015P, um, between the rim and the letters, I'm not even really sure what it's called, but I've never seen it before. You can see it there. Um, is right there between the letters and the rim and it goes from his jacket all the way around the coin it actually goes around the back side of the coin here too uh, but it's most prominent by the letter between the letters and the rim uh, it's a it's almost as if the rim was pulled away from the letters I, so like I said I'm not even really sure what to call it I just put between rim and letters I'm gonna have to look it up uh, see if I can find anything. I've never seen it before. 2016 P. We've got a bunch of this stuff here. Um, this one we've got uh, obverse and reverse partial brockage or weak strike or struck through grease. They're, they're very blurry on both sides. Uh, uh, kind of got almost that blasted effect. Uh, same thing on this one obverse, reverse, blasted effect or brockage. 2016 P. Obverse wide rim. Uh, or wire rim, excuse me, uh, on this, and it's offset to the southeast edge. Um, so it's you know very very. There's no rim here, and this side it's you can feel it with your uh, finger. 2016 P, US is falling off of the edge of the coin, um, and the obverse is offset to the northeast. The reverse is set offset to the southwest, which is why the United States is falling off the rim. Um, and it's in really nice shape, too. Um, the next two, we have full steps. And this one has that same wire rim on the south edge. And the reverse has the same, which is kind of unusual. Uh, this one on the reverse, E Pluribus Unum, is falling over the edge. It's the opposite of the one with the United States falling off the edge, and it has full steps. Uh, this one, obverse die chip uh, in the word liberty. On the reverse, we've got die chips on the roof, and the left hand door, and a filled O in Monticello. So we'll pull that in, and you can see that Monticello is filled in. And we have one on the left hand door. And we have one up on the roof. Right there. And then this last one is reverse die chips. Uh, too large on the left hand uh, Monticello building. Uh, T in sense. And then also O is filled. So we'll pull in here. Hopefully you can see that. Boy, that's hard to do. That was filled. A large one there. What was the other one there? Let's see. Uh, two on the left-hand side of the building. Yep. There. And there. And then also... Uh, T in sense, yeah, that was the one that was like you can see it's all. It, it looks mangled, but it's actually um, a die chip here, and another die chip here, and then there's a die chip filling the O. So um, we gave away the silver. We found a 46, but it wasn't worth keeping, and we found uh, looks like about 11 keepers. 
Um, so not bad. Uh, hope you guys found this interesting and kind of closes out the live stream from last week. And tomorrow, hopefully, you'll be here for the live stream this week at 4 o'clock Eastern, as usual, uh, on Sunday. So until next time, uh, please remember to like, share, subscribe, and check the links below and the website and lots of information down there. And until then, uh, JNB signing off.